Yes, in this class, we are going to see the stack data structure and its manipulations. So what is a stack? A stack allows all data operations at one end only. Meaning, so here, let us first see what is a stack. Here, a stack of trays. Here, a stack of coins. A stack of shoebox. What do you mean by this? One tray is kept on top of another tray and so on. Here also, one coin is placed on top of another coin and so on. The same thing repeated. Here, one book is kept on another and so on. Now, so stacking is you have to, if you want to keep a new element of the same type, then you will be placing it. Say, for I want to keep a new tray, another tray, then I will keep it on top only. I, I cannot insert it in the middle or at the bottom. Okay. So a stack is nothing but you will be adding a new element of the same type. If it is a coin, I will add coin on top of this. If it is shoe box, I will add shoe box on top of it. Shirt, I will add shirt. So not the sari or something, uh, not anything else. So I I I don't I won't be adding a coin on top of a tree. Okay. So which means similar type, same data type. So you will be keeping the uh, element on top of. If you want to insert any element, you will keep it on the top of a stack. Now I want to remove an element. Say for example, uh, this yellow book, I want to remove. Now what I will do, I have to remove the first element, then the second book, and then only I can remove the yellow book. So removal will be also from the top only, as well as if I am going to add a new book, I will add it only here. I cannot add that book in between. I cannot add it at the end, anywhere else. I can add only at the top, and I can remove only from the top. So this is called the stack data structure. So a stack allows all data operations at one end only. At any given time, we can only access the top element of the stack. This is the strict rule for a stack. And a stack can be implemented with the data structure array or a structure or a pointer or a link list. In this, uh, a lesson of stack we are going to see the implementation of stack using array and later on we are going to see the implementation of stack using the linked list data structure so a stack is a concept that concept we are going to implement it using array so what are the features of the stack features means operations what operations can be done with the stack so stack is an ordered list of similar data type. It will be of the same data. That's what I said by the previous one. If you are going to add a coin, you will be adding only here, not here. You want to add a shirt or a shirt, you will be adding only here. You will not add a shirt here or shirt here. So it is of the same similar data type. So stack is a LIFO structure, last in, first out. Whichever is placed as the recent one, that we call it as a last in, that is the one which will be taken. So that's what only on the top. That is what we say by last in, that will be the first to be removed. So LIFO are, we can say first in, last out. What do you mean by first in, last out? The one which has been kissed as the first element in the stack, that will be the last one to be removed. After removing of all these things only, you can remove. That is why it is called philo. That is first in, last out okay so what are the operations when i am going to add a new element i call it as a push so adding an element into a stack is called push pop when i am going to remove an element from the stack then i call it as a popping an element from the stack but both insertion and deletion or removal are allowed only at one end of the stack called top so Top is the pointer which always point to the top of the stack. A stack is said to be in overflow state when it is completely full. So for example, in the previous thing, if you uh, if the stack 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 is the maximum length, maximum uh, strength which you can keep, 
then it's it uh, it is said that it's over you cannot keep more if i am going to insert i cannot insert because the maximum length is i can keep only five trays so in that case it is said to be when you try to insert then it will it is said to be that it is overflowing the stack is overflowing so what is underflowing then i remove this i remove this i remove this remove this remove this all the five trays are removed now again i am trying to remove that there is no tray at all empty stack that we call it as an empty stack so where this will be used when you are going to add a new element you always check whether the stack is full or not if it is not full only you will be inserting when you are removing the element popping the element you keep on checking whether the stack is empty or not if it is empty you cannot pop if there is an element only you can remove so in those you will be using the uh, these two is full and is empty by checking whether the stack is full and stack is empty and these two you will be using in push and pop in order to before adding an element or removing an element pick get the top element of the stack without removing just printing the element which is present in the top of the stack that's what we are doing and this is nothing but stack edit abstract data type so it can't sort of arrange in sequential order all operation takes place at a single end and that is called top of the stack and the following operations can be performed so without any implementation what this push will do what pop will do that is good so giving like this explanations and the name of a function even without parameters we can call that as an abstract data type so an abstract data type is nothing but on a particular uh, data structure what are all the operations we are going to carry over one day you will be giving the function name like that and what it will do that only explanation only you will give there will be no implementation actual coding is do not done it is left to the user to implement it in their respective language so now we will see the how you will represent the stack structure using an array here if you see that constant in the maximum length you have declared a variable called max length which is equal to 10 so which means now we consider the maximum length of the array is 10 which is now we call it as a stack so then we declare a uh, stack so here class of template is used to for uh, in order to pass any type of parameters so for that we use the template even you can pass uh, integer you can pass a character you can pass a string you can pass an in uh, Uh, floating point all those things you can do if you declare them as a template so this is a common uh, type which you uh, which is it's a common structure where uh, you want to pass any type of data so this this program will work for any type of data so now class stack you have declared a class called stack and then you have declared a uh, array array is uh array is the stack now so here maximum length so array of 10 will be the maximum length of the stack so after that array of 11 cannot be done you cannot insert the 11th element okay so that is what the here then top you have given the pointer top which always points the top of the array or top of the stack now here push operation so how a push operation can be done So what are the steps has to be done? First, it has to be check whether the stack is full or not. If it is full, you cannot push. So that has to be done. So once it is successful, that if it is the stack is full, produces an error and exit. What error? Stack is overflowing. So that will be uh, uh, replied to the user through the coding, and then you exit the push operation. If the stack is not full, if it returns as zero. then increments top to point to the next so now the top pointer is incremented to the next element and then that uh, uh, value will be written that so you first increment the top pointer and add data element so that can be done by add of the top top initially see 0 1 2 3 means now after this uh, top will consist of 4 top plus plus previously it is 3 now it is made to point to 4 twelfths now A R of four, then the data to be written will be passed. Now after doing that, it will return success. So this is what. Now we will see the coding here again. 
template class. This is for common uh, data type passing. So here push, we are pushing the data to be uh, placed to insert on the stack. Now here first we are checking whether it is full or not. This full, what it will do, it will return a 1 or a 0. If it returns a 1, which means the stack is full. If it returns a 0, which means the stack is not full. So uh, that is a function. We will be seeing that function also. I will show you that function. It's full stack. What this full stack will be doing is, say here we have written the full. Now it will check for if the top pointer is equal to maximum length minus 1. Why it is max length? My maximum length already we have seen 10. Why it is 10 minus 1? Because the top pointer starts from 0 to 9. Totally 10 elements. So what we are doing is whether if it is equal to the maximum, whether if it has reached the top of the, which is the maximum thing, then you return 1, saying that it is full. Else return 0. Same way, you can see empty stack. Here empty stack, you will be checking for whether uh, any uh, the top pointer has reached minus 1. If top equal to minus 1, which means the last element, uh, the last pointer is 0, if you keep decrementing, then it will become minus 1. Top becomes minus 1, which means uh, there is no value. So, if it is equal to minus 1, then return 1, which means empty is true, else return 0. So, with these two uh, functions in mind, we will see the pop, a push. Yes. Here, it checks whether it is full. If it returns 1, then it cannot be done. But here, not equal to 1, which means if it returns 0, there is space to be added. So, now increment the top pointer, then put the value. Using the top pointer, you put the data, what you are passing it. Now, it will be placed on the top of the uh, stack. Else, if it fails, then you give cannot push, stack is full. That is the information you are giving to the user. Then, pop operation. If any element can be removed only from the top. So, when it is removed, what that means, you will be uh, allocating this value to some variables and you will be decrementing the pointer. So, when the pointer is decremented, the element cannot be, you element cannot be accessed. That is the meaning of this. Because already we know stack strictly follows the element can be uh, accessed only through the top pointer. So, when, it, when you in, decrement this, uh, the previous element is no more valid. It always points to the, uh, the latest, uh, that is top element. So, check if the stack is empty. So, before popping, you have to check whether any element is there. So, for that, you have to check whether the stack is empty or not. If the stack is empty, you produce an error as underflow. If the stack is not empty, access the data element at which the top is pointing. Now, I am going to remove E. So, first access this element to store it in some temporary variable. So, now it is stored in some temporary variable and then decreases the value of top by minus 1. So, top minus minus. You decrement it. Now, return success. Since it has been popped. Now, if you see this encoding, you check for is empty as well as here you have declared a pop and then del data. It is of the same type. So, because whatever data we are storing, as I said already, template is used for storing the common data type. Whether it is an integer, it will be used for. So, the same program can be used for storing integer as well as the string. So, here you check for is empty. If it is returned some 0, then you will be able to remove. Which means if it returns 0, the uh, stack is not empty. That is the meaning. So, del data equal to or a top element, you are assigning it to the temporary variable, then you are decrementing the pointer, then you are returning the deleted value to the main program, calling program, and then finally, you say cannot pop. If, if, if uh, this fails, you say that it cannot pop and you return 0. Now, peak. Peak is used to just see what is stored on the top. So, here you check whether it is empty. Because there must be some value to pick. So, you check for, if it is not empty, the sum value is there, then you print the value using the top pointer. The element on the top of the set, array of top. That's all. Okay. Printing the 
stock element at any point of time we would like to see what is stored in the stack so that can be done by using the uh, using a for loop so before that so we have written a, a print stack function and then we are checking whether it is empty if it is empty you cannot print some element should be there so that we are checking with the is empty and if it is uh, not equal to 1 that is if it is not returning 1 if it is equal to 0 then you go inside for int uh, equal to top because you have to print from the top okay and the element has to be accessed from top so first initially say for example 5 elements are there means top will be 4 as I said 0 to 4 so it will be 4 and till it become greater than or equal to 0 till it reaches 0 i minus minus you print the value of array of 5 you should not give array of top so if you give the array of top then you are manipulating value you should not manipulate the top pointer unless it is a push or pop operation so here you give the array of i so from the top first to four element then third then second one and zero in that case the element in the order the element will be printed 